viewers, welcome to my channel Dazzling Stepping Stone. I am Bharata Srija. Today's concept is Innovations in Medical Field. In this, one of the interesting topic is Smart Inhalers, which will be handled by one of my student, Eva Sri. Now I invite Ms. Eva Sri to start this session. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Uh, I welcome all faculty members and my dear friends for this presentation. Uh, this is Eva Sri of third year ECE. I am going to explain about uh, Smart Inhalers. This topic comes under respiratory rate measurement in our uh, BMI. Uh, uh, so let us uh, take a recap of uh, what is uh, respiratory rate measurement. Um, you all know that a respiratory rate is the number of breaths a person takes per minute. This is the usual rate measured when a person is at rest. And uh, simply what it means counting the chest, how much, now how much time it raises and it drops. This, may, this respiration may, rate may increase due to fever and other medical conditions. The normal respiratory rate is 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Uh, I have listed some of the respiratory diseases uh, such as asthma, pneumonia, bronchitis, pleural effusion, cystic fibrosis and lung cancer. And the recent pandemic, the COVID-19 is also a respiratory disease, right? I'm going to explain about asthma. Uh, what is asthma? This is a condition in which our airways, in which uh, the mucus got struck. In this, uh, so that uh, we'll get a breathing difficulty and there's a sound like a uh, whistling sound, right? You all know uh, that and the shortness of breath will also occur. For some people, this is a minor case. For many people, uh, this is actually a major cases and nearly 4 lakh people are uh, dying due to asthma every year. The recent research says. Uh, for others, it may be a, a small attack uh, like that, but for many people, it is a life-threatening attack. So this is this, uh, can't be cured permanently, but their symptoms can be controlled. Uh, because of asthma, um, you may get a shortness of breath so that you have to use that uh, inhaler like that. Uh, I'll go to explain what is the condition. This is in this slide, you can see right uh, a, a man who, who takes in uh, who takes his breath through his nose, then mouth, then pharynx, then trachea, this is windpipe, then this is bronchi, this is bronchioles. At the end, uh, we'll be having alveoli. Uh, don't get stressed because this is not that much biology. This is a basic thing. In this end, we'll be having alveoli. In that alveoli, uh, the exchange of gases, uh, if we take the uh, oxygen and we deliver carbon dioxide, right? Uh, this gas exchange takes place in this at the end of bronchioli, that is alveoli. Uh, this is the normal person's uh, bronchiole, that is uh, the air can move and uh, get out. And this is the case in which the mucus got struck, right? So this person can't able to breathe properly. And uh, you can also take an example of a balloon. Uh, what that means, uh, we'll buy, uh, let us assume that we have bought a balloon at some two, three months back. What will happen if we, we kept somewhere and we forgot? Uh, I just now, I, if I watch that, what it will happen? It will got uh, like it will get stick right like that. Uh, our alveoli will get fused in this uh, asthma case. In this, uh, you can see the clear cut mucus got struck, so the A cannot go inside and get outside. Right in this condition, for this remedy, uh, we use uh, inhalers. What does inhalers contain? Means uh, a chemical component called salbutamol. And uh, there are some uh, many uh, chemicals like corticosteroids and many other steroids. Um, in th there are uh, there is a, another uh, inhaler called combination inhaler in which uh, this uh, prednisone is a component. This is that is used to treat inflammation. Inflammation means in the sense this is bulge, right? There is a bulge. You can see the difference between these two. There is a bulge in this, right? That uh, inflammation can be used to uh, treat with the prednisone and uh, uh, between this, you can uh, see the this uh, air cannot breathe, right? So to open up the airways, we use a component called uh, bronchodilator. This is used in combination inhalers. Uh, you can see in this, um, th this girl who's taking her inhaler, right? Uh, what? She, she stay, she's breathing in oxygen through her nose. Then it goes to the mouth, then pharynx, then trachea. Then she'll be having, this is bronchi, this is bronchioles. At the end of this, I already said this, right? What she'll do, this is the actually, one minute, sorry. Uh, in the, This is the uh, bottle, that is, it contains some chemical like salbutamol. Uh, through this uh, chemical, 
what it will do uh, the chemical will go into this mouth and uh, if any inflammation in this case uh, this can be cured this is the usage of inhaler then what we as engineering student we have to do something for this right what uh, inhalers are already present as engineering student we have to do some uh, innovative things right so what we'll do is we'll go for smart inhalers uh, smart, what is smart inhalers means nothing but it consists of a uh, a, a, uh, a circuit in which i'll show you the picture one minute uh, in this circuit you'll be having a temperature sensor a carbon dioxide sensor and that and all what it will do it will uh, indicate the patient how much dosage he must take or how much dosage he has taken uh, that conditions and all uh, why i go, go for smart inhalers uh, many in uh, in our country this is not uh, asthma is not a uh, serious disease you may think but actually many of the people are dying due to asthma that is because of uh, no, the medication is not proper that's why most of the people are dying the re research says that so uh, uh, in this you can see uh, 90% it will be effective but 50% uh, of the only use effective and they can be uh, cured with the symptoms somewhat but 94% don't use that inhaler so what we have done is uh, we have developed some uh, bluetooth enabled smart inhalers such that it records the date time how much dosage how much uh, uh, puffs left still that and all will be recorded in this and uh, this is the device i said uh, Okay, what we'll see the advantage and disadvantages. Uh, what the advantages are, the person have the confidence that we can uh, di self-diagnose uh, by ourselves. Self-diagnose means not taking medications. That uh, there is everywhere, uh, every medical shop, there is a uh, medicine, right? Salbutamol, that uh, combination. He'll simply buy that and we, he'll be using and uh, he can uh, have the confidence that we can uh, manage ourselves, that confidence that uh, he have. Next, uh, the second point is, uh, uh, in, uh, is involved in doing that. That means uh, what it comes to say is, he is actively, uh, if we forget also, it will remember us. So that is the advantage for us. The disadvantage is uh, some people will be like, don't uh, don't like that, right? Somebody is watching us like that uh, through internet. So that, that is the major disadvantage. And uh, what are the benefits means you can uh, record that uh, timing date when you go to doctor uh, if he asks anything uh, what uh, when does you take this dosage at that time what you can do is you can tell him that i took this much uh, uh, doses uh, with this much of uh, ml like that you can tell you can also uh, try making projects in this by using iot also thank you history very nice presentation so what can we understand from today's session the smart inhaler, it can record every time and date of patient who uses that inhaler and the data can be stored in cloud. Also, the patient will re receive audio and visual reminder about inhalers used through mobile. I hope that today's session is useful. Thanks for watching this video.